All right, just want to do a video covering this thing. This actually has been on my mind for a little while now. Uh, there's this little Satanist on Facebook named uh, J.T. Olson. He used to be affiliated with the cult leader Rich Pankowski. And as far as I'm concerned, J.T. Olson still has the same kind of wicked, you know, Pharisee-like mentality as Rich Pankowski. Um, I had a correspondence with him over Facebook. And, you know, typical of these charismatic devils, they just get all prideful when you kick their false gifts and their perverting of the gifts of the spirit, which is a whole other issue. But one of the big things, and the kind of thing that started this whole little spat that he had, is basically uh, me trying to correct him on this error of him saying that the vaccine is the mark of the beast and even saying things like the mark of the beast is here right now we're already in the time of jacob's trouble and of course he's a post-tribber too so what do i expect but i'm uh, gonna go through some scriptures showing why the vaccine cannot be the mark of the beast now i need to point something out no i am not pro-vaccine okay i i am not for the vaccine i before my website was taken down for hate speech uh, my, my previous one I had all kinds of articles on there exposing this vaccine. And I can't say too much of it because, you know, YouTube will give me a strike for medical misinformation. So uh, if you want to know more about the vaccines, I'll probably post some more articles about it on the website. But again, can't can't say too much on that because medical misinformation strikes. But uh, I'm going to go through some scriptures showing why the vaccine cannot be, can scripturally not be the mark of the beast. Why it does not qualify. So first of all, let's go into the verses that a uh, little Satanist on, little charismatic Satanist on Facebook, JT Olson, will not cover. So first of all, the mark of the beast is forced, and those who refuse it, who refuse to take it, are killed. Plain and simple. Revelation chapter thirteen, verse fifteen to seventeen. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the, the image of the beast should be killed. Simple enough. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. First of all, not only is nobody being killed for not taking the vaccine, it's not being forced either. Because, you know, here in Canada, it's not being forced. It would, I mean, some companies may have... may make you get the vaccine but it's not being forced on a governmental level it's still optional but here we see that it's forced and those who don't do not worship the, the image of the beast are killed and notice too in the right hand or in the forehead uh last time i checked the vaccines go into the upper shoulder they don't go into the right hand or the forehead plain and simple uh, revelation chapter 20 verse 4 more scripture showing that those who don't take it don't take the mark are killed uh, Revelation 20 verse 4 and I saw thrones and they that sat upon them and judgment was given unto them and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God and which had not worshipped the beast neither his image neither have received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands and they lived and reigned with God or, or with Christ a thousand years. So notice they're beheaded what's one of the reasons why they're beheaded because they didn't receive the mark or worship the image and here's the thing too this is the thing that Satanist J.T. Olson doesn't understand. The mark of the beast is not just simply taking the mark, it's also worshiping the beast in the image. Okay, uh, Where is the image we're supposed to worship when we get these vaccines? It's not there. There is no image we're being, t we're being forced to worship. It's not the vac it, it is not the mark of the beast. Now, I do believe it could be a precursor, trying to see what they can get away with, but it is not the, uh, the actual mark of the beast. Next point, like I said before, the mark of the beast goes in the forehead or hand. Vaccines don't do that. They go in the upper part of your arm. So another reason why it disqualifies. Again, Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. Back to Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Simple as that. Revelation chapter 14, verse 9. And again, these are scriptures that old Satanist, you know, charismatic Satanist J.T. Olson will not show his people. Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. Okay, where, where, when are the vaccines going in your forehead or in your hand? Again, we don't see that. Uh, and again, Revelation 20, verse 4, we already read that. How they're being killed for not receiving the mark or worshiping the beast in his image. So that alone shows that the, the vaccines cannot be the mark of the beast. It's just that plain and simple. Because, number one, they're not being forced... And number two, those who aren't taking it are not being killed. They may be fired from their job, but they're not being killed. And they can still buy or sell. They just may, have hard, may, may be limited in where they can do it. You know, I know that one of the jobs I worked at, Walmart, the Walmart night shift, they actually made the vaccine optional. You know, they, they didn't force you to take it. Uh, so that is showing that's not the mark of the beast. Second of all, it's going in the forehead or in the hand. That's what the mark of the beast is going into. Meanwhile, like I said, vaccines go into your upper shoulder. You know, 
It's just that plain and simple. So don't believe J.T. Olson and his little scripture twisting. What he does is he always likes to quote Revelation 16, verse 2, but he ignores these other verses that contradict his heresy. See, false teachers and cult leaders and, and false prophets, they will always base, you know, doctrine, a uh, huge doctrine off of, you know, obscure out of context verses. It's just that plain and simple. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys why the, the vaccine cannot be the mark of the beast. Again, not saying I'm pro-vaccine. Obviously, I've exposed the vaccine as well, but it is not the mark of the beast. Now, could it be a precursor? Yeah, absolutely. Trying to see what they can get away with. But is it the actual mark? No, it's not scripturally possible. So anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.